What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Optimus Prime from the Transformers. Let's begin today's lesson by drawing a straight line going across the center of our page. We'll start over on the left side of the head, draw a straight line, go over towards the right. Now we're gonna add that center piece in between the eyes. You need a gap in the center, go to the left side, draw an angle line coming down and in, move over towards the right, and do the same thing. Close off the bottom with a straight line. Now on the left side of this line, we're gonna step in, draw a half circle. We're gonna come down, round up the eye, and just pull that up along the inside. Just line this up on the right, coming down, go around, and just tuck that up underneath. From the outside of the eye, draw a straight line coming down. Just angle this down and then in, just underneath the eyes. And then from here, we're just gonna pull this up and in towards the center point. So let's start with the left, going up and in, angle this back down towards the right. Now from these two points, draw a straight line coming down towards the chin. Let's angle this down and in with a short line. And we'll close off the bottom. Let's go back up to that center point, draw a straight line coming down to right about there. And we'll split this off, coming down toward the left point and the right. Now from the outside of this line, come straight down. I just wanna line this up with that bottom point on the inside. And then we'll connect the outside to the inside with a straight line. Now we're gonna add that center piece in the middle of the head. Starting right in the center, angle this up and out towards the left. Go back to the middle, go up and out towards the right. And from the outside, we're just gonna angle this up and in towards the top of the head. Let's close off the top with a straight line. Now you wanna trace this shape along the inside. So we'll start along the top. And bring that down along the sides towards the bottom. And we'll pull that down and in. Now I want to fill the inside with a series of horizontal lines. Start along the top, leave a gap, and just bring that all the way down towards the bottom. Let's round up the top of the head going in behind that centerpiece. Starting on the top left, we're gonna go up. And I'm just gonna bend that in behind. Let's continue on the right side, going out, and then we'll bend that down. Now from the outside point, I'm just gonna curve this out and then down towards the side of the head. Now halfway along this curve, we're gonna go up and then bend that in. Let's add a trim along the jaw. Starting on the left, angle this down and in. Come straight down towards the bottom. Let's line that up on the right. Now let's add in that earpiece. Starting from here, angle this down and out towards the side. straight down angle this back down and in from the top corner of the earpiece let's step in draw a straight line go all the way up toward the top of the antenna to right about there go to the right side step in and do the same thing now we're just going to bring that up towards the same height Let's flatten off the top with a short line coming in. Then we're gonna angle this down and in behind the side of the head. Now I wanna leave a gap underneath the chin, step down and draw a straight line going across the top of the chest, from left to right. From the ends, draw a straight line coming down. 
pulls out the bottom with another straight line. Now we're going to connect the head to the chest with two angled lines, starting out here, and it goes down and out. Let's leave a gap in the center and draw two lines, one coming down on the left, move over, come down on the right. Let's trace the inside of the chest on the left. Let's do the same thing on the right, going across, come down, and close off the bottom. Let's leave another gap and draw another straight line of equal length from left to right. Come down the sides towards the hips. And we'll pull this down and in towards the center point. Let's connect the top of the body to the lower torso with two lines along the side. Let's step in, draw two more lines. And then we'll add two lines going across from left to right. Let's add a little bit more detail to the lower torso. We need a gap in the middle, draw two lines, one on the left and one on the right. Now from the top, draw a line going out towards the side, come down with a short line, and we'll close off the bottom with a straight angled line. Now you want to leave a gap in the center and draw the inside edge of the legs. Let's move over towards the left side, angle is down and then out towards the left heel. Move over towards the right, angle is down and then out. Let's flatten off the bottom of the feet with a straight line going all the way out towards the left and right side. Now I'm going to go back to the left side and draw a half circle going up towards the top of the foot. And we'll bring that back down towards the inside of the heel. And then from the hips, let's step in, draw another straight angle line coming down and out on top of the feet. Let's separate the top of the leg with an angle line coming down and in, and we'll line that up on the right side. Let's add a thick sole along the bottom, so we'll step up and draw another line going across. Now I'm tracing the bottom of the leg along the inside, going up the side, towards the top. Close off the top. Now we're going to add two lines going across the inside. Let's go back up to the top and draw on the shoulders. From the top corner of the body, let's step in. Draw a straight angle line going up and out. Come down in an angle along the side of the shoulders. And then bring that back down and in towards the side of the body. Now underneath the shoulder, we're going to leave a gap and draw that same length line coming down and in. On the outside, follow that same angle line coming down towards the wrist, and we'll close off the bottom. Let's connect the shoulder to the arm with two lines pulled in. Now going back to the inside corner, let's start with the thumb with a half circle coming in and then out. Close off the end with a bracket. Let's add three fingers on either side. We're going to start from the bottom curve of the thumb, come down and up around that bracket. Step down along the side, go out and then up. And then one more finger, we're going to go out, bend the hand coming in underneath the wrist. Now you want to add the exhaust along the shoulder. From the top corner, step down, angle up and out, come down the side, and then back in. 
And we'll do the same thing on the right. Now add two circles along the inside, one along the top and then one on the bottom. Let's finish off by signing our art and adding a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Optimus Prime from the Transformers. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single week. And if you want to keep drawing with me, then visit our channel homepage for more playlists and videos. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.